Welcome to Mr. News Art Class. Today we're making architectural designs and it's real easy to do. The materials we're using for this, we have a plate with some black paint, tempera paint here in the middle. We have some cardboard cutouts. Notice what's on that. That is an arrow. The arrow is just pointing at whichever side we will be dipping into the paint. This comes from a uh, paper towel roll, and the rest of these just come from boxes, old boxes. It's just recycled cardboard, and we're going to be using these to dip into the black paint and stamp lines. Now it's important, especially if you're using a, these with a group, it's important to always make sure that your tools get set back with the arrows pointing towards the paint. You don't want to set it sideways because then you'll get paint all over the edge, you'll get paint all over your fingers, and you'll get smears all over everything. I've got a pencil here to write my name. I'll go ahead and write my name at the bottom corner before I get started. Now the name of the game here is to Use straight lines and perfect circles to create an architectural design. And we also are trying to make it symmetrical. So I'll start with, uh, maybe I'll start with a ground. I'm just stamping across the bottom there. Uh, maybe I want to make uh, a tall building or maybe a house. Um, there's lots of ways to do this. Maybe I'll use this long handled tool to stamp out maybe the first layer. Maybe I'll have a tiered skyscraper kind of thing going on. So maybe that's the outline of the first layer. Dip it in the paint again. Maybe this is the second layer, a little bit narrower. And then maybe at the top we'll have a smaller triangle. Maybe I also want to make some windows and doors in there think symmetry. So if I'm going to put a door, maybe I'll put a door, a double door in the middle. Now this is a nice trick. If I want a doorknob, I can do that even with a big tool like this by just touching the corner boop, boop, to make some doorknobs. And maybe I want the windows to be tall and narrow. So that's how wide my window is going to be. And that's how tall it's going to be. Maybe I'll go ahead and mark the tops and bottoms of my windows, thinking with symmetry. So two windows on the left, two windows on the right. Now on this building, I didn't use any of the circles, but just so you can see what sometimes happens, when you use this to make circles, like if you wanted a circle window, sometimes when you dip this into the paint, you get a bubble that forms right here. And if you put that onto your paper, it'll pop like this. So the way to fix that is to just poke it before you put it down. Now that does get a tiny little bit of black paint on your fingertip, but that's okay. It rubs off real easy and it's not going to make too much of a mess unless you purposefully put it onto your picture. Sometimes it forms a bubble on your plate. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Those bubbles can just be popped with your finger and then wipe clean with a paper towel.